Are you joining a new sport and need some advice? Well, I've got some tips for you. Hello everybody and welcome back to Homeschool Histories. Alright, so today I'm going to be talking about some advice for when you're joining a new sport. So, last winter season I decided to start playing basketball. And this was actually because I played soccer with the school and then they are like, hey you should totally play basketball. I'm like, alright I'll play basketball. And then one of my friends was going to play basketball too except then he didn't. So then I was the only one that I really knew on the basketball team. But, anyways, so I joined basketball and there are some things I didn't really know about it. Like, the first practice, like they tell, they told everyone, okay guys, everyone line up the baseline. I'm like, what's the baseline? Huh. Okay, I'll just follow everyone else, you know. So then, later on I realized that the baseline was the line that's around the basketball court. Or, usually, the line that's on the end, I guess. And then a lot of the time during the practice, we'd be doing a drill or something, and, the co and then I'd sort of be like fumbling through it, like, okay. And then the coach would ask me, Hey, Torin, you know what you're doing? I'm like, no. And then he's like, okay, okay. So you see, watch them do this. And I'm like, okay. So I watch, I have no clue what you're talking about. And then he's like, okay, you think you got it? I'm like, yeah, I think I got it. So that was, yeah, I didn't really know what to do. <laughs> and then one time during a game, I was actually playing, and then I got fouled in the paint. And then everyone like started lining up for a free throw and stuff, and I was like, okay, someone's gonna take a free throw. And then, like, everyone's just waiting, and I'm like, what's going on? And then the ref's like, you gonna take the free throw? I'm like, oh! They like, give me the ball, I'm like, okay. Ha! <laughs> I knew I was supposed to take the free throw. <laughs> okay. And anyways, so that's my experience with basketball. So in order to improve your experience joining a new sport, I decided to make a list of things that you should do. Okay, so four things that you should do when you're joining a new sport. First of all, study the rules. Because you gotta know some of the rules, at least. You gotta know what a baseline is, obviously, if you're joining basketball, etc. And learn some of the plays, or common, no common knowledge that would be in the sport. Number three, don't think that you're worse than everyone else just because you're joining and you're new. Because most likely, you're not the worst player on the team. Well, maybe. But just don't think of yourself as the worst player and if you don't think of yourself as that, then you might improve better than if you think you're the worst. Because I, was, when I played basketball, I was like, N everyone else has played basketball here. I've never played basketball. So then, I sort of got discouraged and I just thought I was the worst player in the team. Even though there were some others who didn't have maybe even as much experience as I had. But hey. And then, of course, number two, give it your best in practice. Like, always try to be at the practices and always do your best in practice, even if you're not going to be playing in the game. Because that way it'll improve better and then usually you'll end up playing more if you play better in practice. And you might not want to play, but put yourself in your head that you do want to play, because then you might actually want to eventually. And number one, make friends. You know, have a good time while you're there. Don't dr dread being at the sport. Of course, a lot of people when they join a new sport, they're not going to dread it, except sometimes you do. Obviously, I didn't dread it. There was no sarcasm in that. So yeah, those are four tips for when you're joining a new sport. Make sure you do it. about, oh, I didn't, okay, today's story is about Marvy the Maverick, yeah, he was a horse, and he decided to actually start horse racing, except he didn't know what a lane was, so when he started horse racing, racing he just went a bunch of other people's lanes, and he got disqualified, and then they shot him because he was a bad horse, but luckily he didn't die from when he got shot, and then he decided to actually learn the rules of horse racing, and then he did better, except he had broken legs, so he couldn't actually horse race, but he studied the rules at least, and he knew how to, but he couldn't horse race anymore because he did badly the first time, I mean, obviously people shoot horses when they do badly, I'm not trying to offend anyone, don't be offended. Alright, awesome story about Marvin the Maverick, of course. Yeah. 
Okay, so that's it for today's episodes of Homeschool Histories. Homeschool Histories, Homeschool Histories, Homeschool Histories. Say that ten times fast and then put in the comments how many times you got through it. <laughs> okay, so thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for commenting and liking and see you guys next week. Don't forget to subscribe. And see you next week, again. See you next week! And somehow he's still the board Netflix. He worked out with McDonald's or something, so I guess he did a job. And then, yeah, he binge all day, and he then finally found Sherlock, and he was like, oh my god, this is like so intense, and then he like exploded. <laughs>